Third and the Badgers are not done adding to this year's roster. UW picked up a commitment this afternoon from transfer guard Max Klesmit. Klesmit is actually from Nina, but he spent his first two seasons in college at Wofford. In 31 games last season, he averaged nearly 15 points per game and shot 34% from three. Wisconsin was hosting Klesmit for an official visit this weekend. After an incredible four-year career as a Badger, tight end Jake Ferguson will now get his chance to take his talents to the next level in Dallas. The Cowboys selected Ferguson in the fourth round of today's 2022 NFL Draft, which was actually a couple rounds earlier than some experts had previously predicted. Ferguson was a consistent presence in the Badgers offense over the past four years, setting a school record for consecutive games with at least one catch, and he was also named a Big Ten first teamer in 2021. After going with defense on night one, the Packers got aggressive on days two and three of the draft, replenishing their offense. Last night, the Pack swap picks with the Vikings, which was really surprising, to grab NDSU wideout Christian Watson in the second round. And then today, Green Bay followed that up by drafting Nevada wide receiver Romeo Dubs with their first pick on day three. They also picked up a guard and a linebacker in the later rounds. With the 109th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Seattle Seahawks select Kobe Bryant, defensive back, Cincinnati. Okay, this was one of the coolest moments of the weekend. The Seahawks picking Kobe Bryant. The Cincinnati quarterback was named after the NBA great, of course. His parents were big fans of Kobe, but they wanted to give him a little different spelling of his name so that he could have some individuality. The crew was looking to keep things rolling tonight at home and as they take on the Cubbies in Milwaukee tonight. And Chicago had no answers for lefty starter Eric Lauer. Lauer was brilliant over his seven innings pitched, striking out 11 Cubs, only giving up one run on just five hits. On offense, Rowdy Telez led the way for the crew, including a two-run homer in the fifth. That all but removed out from this ball game. Milwaukee eventually goes on to win 9-1 to tonight. And finally, legendary Rutgers women's basketball coach C. Vivian Stringer is calling it a career after leading the Scarlet Knights over the past 27 seasons. Stringer, who spent 50 years in coaching, will leave the profession fifth all-time on the NCAA wins list and was the first coach to lead three different Division I programs to Final Fours. Rutgers says they are going to announce that they're going to rename their court on Jersey Mike's Arena in her honor. Okay, stay right with us. Dana's going to be back with one last check of your forecast 